Okay, the next part of this assignment is you guys get to put in some kind of furniture, some kind of clothing rack. Um, what I did, I know it needs to be an OBJ file, kind of learned that last module, and I just typed in clothing rack. And when I did that on Google, um, Turbo Squid pops up, Sketch Fab, CG Trader, all three I've tested out and you can get free stuff. You can also buy stuff, but there's a lot of free stuff. So I recommend doing free while you're still kind of getting um, you know, used to it. Um, and there's even more companies like th free 3D models. That one looks pretty cool. I haven't tried that one yet. There's free pick, also a lot of options. Design connected. So there's definitely choices out there. Um, so I went to, let's see here, I was at Turbo Squid. I downloaded one from Turbo. I downloaded one from CG Trader and I saved them here. Um, I chose the OBJ file and let's see here. Uh, the other one is a shelf. Actually, I renamed it shelf. It was originally this one. I want to show you this one. This one was from Turbo Squid. Um, so I'm going to go to Clode, open it up. It's an OBJ. I'll say file. I'm going to import, I'm going to add it because I want to keep everything else. I don't want my table and shirt to disappear. And the original file was this one right here. I'm going to say open. Um, okay and okay. Okay, it's so tiny, you can't even see it. That might happen to you. I'm like still zooming. Oh my gosh, there it is. Do you see it? So if that happens, I'm just going to delete it and um, I'll hit the number two, zoom out again a little bit. Um, and I'm going to try it again. File, import, add, OBJ, uh, there it is. And then, I mean, I was just playing with the numbers. This time I'm adding a couple zeros into the scale. Okay, just so I can see what I'm working with here. It's definitely still the wrong size, but there is a little button here that changes from the gizmo tool to the scale tool. Okay, so just turn it on scale. That way you should be able to um, move it around and resize it and all that good stuff. Um, once I did that, I went ahead and I went file export and I saved it as an OBJ at that original size. So I'll hit delete. I saved it as shelf. Um, so now I can go file import add OBJ and there's my shelf that I liked the size after rescaling it. So you don't have to do that every time. You can do the work just once. Um, yeah, so you might have to do that. Um, and then from here, you can you know, add some textures if you wanna add textures. Um, we've done this before, I think, with fabric. Let's see here, surface, um, fabric. Here we go, right now there's no texture, it's empty. So I can click on our little dots and go find a texture. Um, here's some wood paneling, Let me turn on the simulation guy. So um, yeah, so anyways, those are some options to get some furniture in your store for free to uh, just kind of play around and get familiar with trying to make a retail store.